Oh, here we go again. It is to make sure that your gear is in top order. No, he's still a bit green. The trick is to drop back parallel. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Look, this video I was going to do um, something on um, the importance of casting accuracy and uh, there was a couple of things that happened this morning um, that sort of changed my mind. So uh, keep watching this video. I'm going to show you and talk a little bit about the importance of uh, a couple of things. One, working angles, even when there's no snags around. There's a really good example of that. Um, you'll see a barra that I get um, by changing my angle. And also about your gear, looking after your gear. So, you know, this is what I'm using today and I had all sorts of issues with dropping fish first up this morning. And then I'm, I'm now two from two. So uh, anyway, keep watching and um, hope you enjoy. Now, mate, there, he's fishing too, look. You got one yet? He's got one in his crosshairs. Uh, good luck, buddy. Last time I fished here, there's a snag, sunken bank with a snag in there. You know, I got smoked by whatever it was. Oh. <laughs> I was about to land on top of the snag, I stopped it. Oh, here we go again. Losing fish. Bugger it. <sighs> you can't win them all, I guess. You gotta hope that you win most. <laughs> he come over the mud bar. I don't know if you saw that. You caught it on camera, but he actually come over the that bit of mud bar to nail it. a bit green. <clears throat> All right, you want to go this side. <clears throat> All right, swim straight into the net. He's a little bigger than I thought. He'll actually go size. <clears throat> Definitely a bit bigger than I thought. 60 centimeter fish. Now that's uh, two centimeters or nearly an inch over size. So uh, we'll let him go. And it's definitely him because they're all born male barramundi and they change to female uh, when they get to a certain size and that size is much bigger than this guy. So, all right, there you go. And these hooks are fairly sharp. This one here, it's just got the end rolled over a little bit. I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that your gear is in top order. You know, you might get that one shot at a fish all day and you want to make sure that everything is ready to uh, take advantage of that. All right, let's get it sharp and we'll get it back in the water. All right, nice drain in there. We'll see if there's a barra sitting in it. Not a bad size one for this stage of the tide. One of the others are a lot smaller, so warrants a couple of casts. The bird certainly thinks it's uh, something you can eat. A little kingfisher there, beautiful things. Oh, there's a barra there. I might just hang around here a little bit. more cars, see if we can find him. He might have moved back towards this drain a bit more. Sometimes, if they won't bite, there's a little trick. The trick is to drop back parallel with the bank so that you can cast along the bank. Instead of having to put 20 or 30 casts in to cover the same area, you can put one or two in. Oh, 
There we go, like that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, he's coming at me again. He's a good fish too. I prefer if he stays down. We've seen a little bit of acrobatics. I've seen enough. <laughs> he hasn't. He's slowly getting closer. And a beautiful fish. Very healthy. Come over this way. The electric's down there. Pair the net. And there he goes. There's that stinger hook pinned just inside the mouth. He's going to come out. He's ready to go. Beautiful hinchy bar. Alright, I'll let him go. Off like a rocket. Another one.